you see, the world is in large measure populated by materialists, and therefore their religion is materialistic. It's preoccupied with what you do with material resources. And how do you express godliness? With materialism. <laughs> Yes, so you you ponder over and, and, and struggle over the, well, how generous should I be? I mean, am I to live in poverty? That the rest of the world will still continue to live in poverty and, you know, I don't even survive. And you try and add reason to this super misunderstanding. And the concoction you make is unictable, of course. You are spirit. God is spirit. You are not material. You are living in a material body, yes. But your living is not the material body. You are giving life to the material body, not the body giving life to you. You are life, eternal life. Life of and from God. You are here that you may be wonderful in heaven eternally, both in the past and in the future, and even in the present. When you know what you are about, these imponderable conundrums and difficulties just vanish away. They are an illusion. The reality is you're a child of God, our Heavenly Father. And we have come here to be very clear that that is what we value. And until we value it, we remain here, perhaps as the Hindu sees it, a million lives may be necessary. But perhaps not. Perhaps more like the Zen Buddhist could be done in a moment of time. Thank you, Dad. <laughs>